Hello everybody, welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Busco. Now before we get started, make sure you're smashing that like button and uh, subscribing to the channel. Every like and subscription really helps build the channel. Even better, spread the word to your friends about the best wine show anywhere. All right, so I have a pretty um, unique and different uh, guest with me today. And uh, you might not think that shipping uh, and the tracking of shipping and all that is really relevant, but in the wine world and really a lot of other products it is. And I happen to get an invitation to come to this wonderful presentation. Uh, so I have Luigi uh, uh, Gulino. Gulino. Yeah, right. Luigi Gulino um, from my home country. <laughs> and um, so he's going to hear, he's here to talk about his product and um, we're going to discuss how it came about. So Luigi kind of First of all, who, who are you? And yeah. kind of, you know, maybe kind of, maybe a little bit of background. Like, how did you get into this side of the industry? Thank you for the question. Thank you yeah. for the invitation. Okay, yeah. Um, really excited. I'm an engineer. Okay. I'm the CEO and founder of Alog. Alog is a new company that designed and produced this one. Okay. It's a, it's a new toy. It's a new <laughs> toy that, that loves wines. <laughs> like yeah. me. I'm... In Italian, yeah. Yeah, if you're an Italian, you don't love wine. Well, yeah. I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> what, 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 if, when you talk about Italy, what do you think? Think about the best food. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amazing wine and yes. la landscape. Yes. And the best technology. <laughs> Very nice. I like that. <laughs> and the best technology. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so this this concept was born really out to solve a problem with the oil and gas industry, yeah. right? Okay, so kind of talk about that and then we'll transition into um, maybe other use cases. Absolutely. My background is an engineer, I'm an mm -hmm. engineer. We work in oil and gas world to make inspections. We produce a software to inspect everything in oil and gas world. And starting from this point, we found a need, a specific need in this, uh, in this world. There is a problem when you store on site, ship and store in house mm -hmm. your asset. Right. Because you have a transit time in oil and gas industry that usually is more than one year. Okay. And you don't know what happens to your asset after that your asset go inside a crate like this one that I made. <laughs> It's not to scale. No. <laughs> but very, I love this prop. I love yeah, it. I'm very <laughs> proud. I do this without tools, with, yeah. with, with a pen. He drew, so, so he drew this. I thought it was printed on there. Now, as I get a closer right. look, I can see it was drawn, but there's no way mine would have looked yeah. horrible. <laughs> anyway, Thank so, you. Thank you. Uh, so, so the, this device and uh -huh. this entire project start from a specific need in oil and gas world. Okay. Monitor what happens to the heavy industrial asset after that they are produced. Mm -hmm. And during the storage on, in house, during the shipping, especially during the storage on site. Okay. You don't know what happens when your clients call you and say that your high value asset arrives damaged, you are in the dark. You don't know how it's possible you produce with high quality standard, right? You produce and inspect everything before that you ship, but your your asset is damaged. Yeah, and I would imagine everybody along the supply chain is like, it wasn't me. No, it wasn't yeah. me. <laughs> it wasn't well, me. Yeah, right. Yeah, it is Alog. Alog is a black box. It's like a black box of airplane. Mm -hmm. It records what happens to your asset about temperature, humidity pressure and more shocks inclination mm -hmm. and exposure to light okay it works with barrier bags but it works in different scenario mm -hmm. we started from oil and gas and we are talking about 
wines. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, so you know the 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 thing is with with this product. Um, you know, with the, with the oil and gas industry, this and, is more important. Yeah, my, the my, the my rate. <laughs> and protecting your assets. I mean, I from your presentation, I I immediately saw that that there was a there was a use case for for my side of the world, but other products. You know, and the what you showed was something that I think is important because, like I said, something is damaged. You don't find out until it's already reached its destination. Yeah, maybe not until it's actually reached. Maybe at the construction site. Yeah. Not even not even at like the port. Yeah. Maybe the construction site, and now it's damaged, and now you have to backtrack. Yeah. And so something like this Absolutely. could help at least find out who's responsible. Exactly. Okay. Because in that area you mentioned at port, on site you have mm -hmm. no infrastructure. That are our area outside of your out of your control. Mm -hmm. But do you have a logger? Logger is a data recorder. That the log, what happens to your asset when your asset, like um, an helicopter, okay, a very um, compressor, turbines, yeah, valve, wine, food, coffee, whatever you think when uh, we talk about high value asset, mm -hmm. where these parameters are very important, right. you can record what happens because we have a black box that records what happens for more than two years with right. one battery. And this is the only device in the world that works with this very easy solution. It right. A... So yeah, explain what the barrier bag is. I mean, maybe in the wine world, they don't, they could use this, they could, yeah. but uh, explain what the purpose of this is just on its own, because this is used already. Yeah. Barrier bag. So what is it? What is it used for? Barrier bag. It is used to uh, protect the asset against corrosion, okay, dust, heat, electromagnetic interference, yeah, contamination, and a lot of different. It is a shield for your product. You right. put your asset inside and pull out the hair. You make the vacuum, and our our device works without compromising the vacuum inside. Okay. And it records what happens inside the buried decks. Okay. You don't need a weather station. You want to know what <laughs> happens to your asset inside, sealed right. in barrier decks without without break the preservation. Okay. For two years. You want to know what happened. There right. is humidity. Mm -hmm. Which percentage of humidity? This exposure to light, someone open your barrier deck you know exactly when it happens. Mm -hmm. And you have your answer. You know who is responsible in this chain for uh, your asset, yeah. for the damage on your asset. So you might think, well, what, what's the big deal about exposure to light? So the way I took it was, like you said, sometimes at, at, the, at the port, yeah. pe people just they want, to open, they want to open it up. They just want, they want to see what's inside. <laughs> and once the barrier- Just once to look inside. Yeah. Once it's been opened, then you don't know what they could have been doing to the to yeah. it. They might maybe they're taking pictures of it. Maybe they're maybe they're fiddling with things, and maybe something is damaged. You know, so um, so that's that's how I look at it. Is exposure to light is is that not necessarily that it sat out on the top of a, a container ship? Yeah. You know, um, but that I think so many things about this. I'm just fascinated. I like technology. Okay. Um, Good. I like technology. Matter of fact, we, we were, there was a phone that was left behind, and and I looked at it, and it was like it was using 24-hour clock, or as we call it, military time in the United States. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I showed Mauricio. I didn't look at the tech. It was it's an Italian. So well, we know somebody from Italy, but I was like, I looked at the military, the 24-hour clock. Is it's probably somebody who's from Europe. <laughs> yeah. And then another guy who's an American goes, I have mine. I was like, well, so do I. But we're all like <laughs> technology nerds too. Um, but as a technology nerd. Um, I think this is a really cool product. So, um, thank you. So, uh, show us about like, it, so if it, let's say, let's say you have a big impact, like you have a couple G's hitting, what, what happens? What happens? Yeah. It happens that you know when, okay. When that uh, shock, when that shock happened. Yeah. You know exactly when, and you know who is responsible, uh -huh. why your high value wines, for example, uh -huh. your why I value asset is a shock during unloading from the vessel mm -hmm. or temperature go down after storage, right? Outdoor 
because everyone told you, don't worry, your asset is in very safe. Absolutely, yeah. But black box, your black box, say the truth. Uh -huh. You know what happens. The temperature go down. Right. During a loading, you your asset absorbed more than, for example, 2G of acceleration. Mm -hmm. We have a gyroscope. We have uh, a system to measure how many G for each axis of acceleration. Okay. You have a system to measure light. You know what happens. Right. It's a, it's a black box. Yeah, it's exactly. Very, yeah. It's a black box that you can use with your asset and not in your airplane. Right. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we have another one in here. So yeah. let's say that let's say that it got dropped. Oh, this is the typical system mm -hmm. that you you can transport asset. Okay. You need a crate uh -huh. bigger than this. Yeah. <laughs> usually, you put asset sealed in barrel deck inside. Uh -huh. Put our device inside, and it 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 works. You don't need to do anything more. Yeah. For example, if you shock. It's record. <laughs> if you exposure to yeah. lights, record every 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 event. It is recorded. Yeah, and it is recorded for more than two years. Two years. Yeah. Two years. It's a very big challenge mm -hmm. with one battery right. more than two years in harsh conditions. We are talking about desert, Arctic area. Yeah, not the right air area. And not the right condition for good wine. Yeah. <laughs> but, so yeah, but like with batteries. So okay. So this past winter we saw electric vehicles in Chicago. Yep. We got too cold. Batteries don't perform very well in extreme extreme temperatures, hot or cold. You know. Um, so being able to have that guarantee for two plus years. We guarantee for two yeah. years. And we tried in laboratory, yeah. and our battery works for more than four years. But we guarantee for guarantee, yeah, two exactly. years. Yeah. So like with wine, you're probably not gonna have a two year shipping period of time, but you talked about how other assets, yeah. they take a while. So they, they, they may sit at your facility ready to be shipped and then the shipping time. And then yeah. even though once it gets to its destination, it may be sitting around for a few months, right? Four or five months after yeah. that they, they are shipped. Just one day someone open your barrier bag and yeah. uh, your client call you and tell your asset is damaged, right? As I told you, you are in the dark. Not if you use Halog, because you know who is responsible for the damage. Usually, what do you do when you receive a call? Okay, okay, sir, I immediately send someone to check. Someone going in an airplane, go around the world, uh -huh. arrives, make a picture of the damage, and call you. Yes, we have damage. Right. Now, how much that cost you? Yeah, right, yeah. And how much did that cost you? A lot of money. And you talked about, like, say, you showed a picture of, like, Hurricane Harvey, right? Yeah. And the water, so that it would measure this humidity Humidity. Thing. Right. So you talked about how, like, are you going to send somebody or someone at, at the site going to open up thousands of crates? Yeah, And absolutely. the labor that's involved with that, right? How many money do you need to check yeah. 1,000 and more crates on your uh, outdoor area? Yeah. How many money do you need? How many workers? And are you sure that you check everything? Yeah. So how, much, so how much money yeah. did the oil and gas industry lose from damages in, what was it, 2021, 20, 22, whatever? You had, a, you had a slide that said how much damage are only in shipping, yeah. not uh, are $1.18 billion. Yeah, it, it's a bill, over a billion dollars, and that's just that one industry. Now, yeah. granted, it's a very expensive industry, but I look at that, I'm like, that's just a small piece of, in, of, of shipping. Yeah. I mean, it's a, okay, it's, a, it, it's significant in the sense of, the value of, of those assets, right? Absolutely. Um, That's the but, point. But it's only one category of shipping. And I look at it this way. It's like, if you can ensure that you have a way to track your product and know if there's any damage and you can hold your shippers and your, you know, everyone doing it to uh, hold them accountable, they'll be more careful. I'm not saying it's going to eliminate everything, but you can, you can hold them more accountable. Absolutely. And I look at it this way, that you can uh, reduce your overall cost. So, and, and I, I know, the, so someone had asked me, well, how much does the thing cost? I said, well, the thing is, I look at it this way. Yeah, so this has, this has a cost, obviously. Um, but 
if it's going to save me money, you save it, should, money. it should pay for itself, right? I mean, just like any other solution to a problem, Absolutely. it should, in theory, pay for itself. Increase so. the quality of uh -huh. your production. Yeah. Save money. Mm -hmm. Save lives. Yeah. You save lives because you increase the safety. Think of what happens when your high-value asset is not ready to be installed in a facility, yeah, right? Which pro how many money you are, uh, yeah, you are we, firing? Yeah, you know, somebody was talking about the, about the airplane. Buying. Yeah, someone was talking about the aerospace industry, you know, and yeah. fuselages and things like that, you know. And and when he was talking about that, and and is that I don't think this this specific thing probably wasn't um, a, a use case. But I think about the O-rings from from the Challenger disaster, right? Absolutely. And, the, and the, right. so the idea of that the extreme temperatures, and it was so low that it, it, it made the O-rings contract and it allowed the gases to. So what if during shipping, that was a product that isn't resilient? Like, you know, the O-rings expand and contract. That's fine. You know, like, as long as it, they, they launched when it was warmer, things probably would have been okay. But what if it's some type of uh, critical component in something and it got exposed to Electrical humidity, parts, corrosion, present, right? Corrosion. That's not, yeah. yeah. So, um, I think I would want to make sure that my the parts of my airplane I'm riding in are not corroded, so I, I I make it to my destination or your car or your train or whatever. For these, um, I told you, yeah, safety. Yeah, exactly. You are working with uh, to grow up the quality of yeah. your product and uh, parallel the safety. Right. When quality is increasing, the safety is increasing. Cool. So um, let's let's talk wine. All right. So I'm gonna take a sip. Anyway, um, so this is what I look at it with wine. So whether or not use the barrier bag. Yeah. Um, humidity isn't a big problem in shipping with wine. As a matter of fact, you know, we, you talked about your your example showed how the you, once you put it in the bag, and then you you make the vacuum and, and then you put the silica gel in there, yeah. it's is absorbing all the humidity. Yeah. In the case of wine, you don't you don't need to do that for the cork. But we were talking about coffee, and coffee needs humidity. I mean, no, coffee doesn't want, doesn't. you want no humidity with coffee. And any other product that, that can clump together, rice, grains, grains, all that kind of stuff, right? So that would be a great use case for that. Um, but heat. So if you have, whether it's whether it's in the container ship or whether it's on the, the delivery truck that goes to the, to the wholesaler, um, I've seen this happen so many times. Well, it makes it sound like super common, but it happens where somehow from the winery to my restaurant or the or the retail shop that I work at currently, um, there's heat damage. And what happens is that so many wineries ship their bottles upside down. Now I can debate whether that's necessary or not, but they ship it upside down. So if there's heat damage, the cork will start, well, cork one can, can be pushed out a little bit. So you can have leakage and you'll see, uh, you'll see the wines kind of go up the side of the, uh, of the cork. And it may or may not be okay. I mean, I've, I've tasted wines with that seepage, perfectly fine. And I've also tasted wines with that seepage that were uh, oxidized, you know, or matterized. Um, so it tastes like Madeira, so because they've been heat damaged. So something like this could help identify that type of situation. Um, impact, you know, what if it was on the container ship and something got smashed and the bottom, the bottom box yeah. of the pallet the, the, the wines the broke. The key to the pallet. Right. The wines broke in that box. Well, now everything, that box is now soaked. And if it's on the bottom, you potentially now have a, a potential collapse of that, of the other boxes around that. So you could lose, you know, at least a case, maybe more of wine from that. So I think there's things about the wine world that it could be a benefit for them. Um, like if we're I talking like shipping I, containers, you know, you need a, probably a lot of wine. You need probably a lot as far as the value of that asset to 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 make up for it. But I think that I can help you. Yeah. <laughs> Use this one. Use this one. <laughs> Put the nail on. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, now, um, I had asked. I actually had a question, but when, during the presentation, so you talked about connect connectivity and has Wi-Fi yeah. and Bluetooth. Wi-Fi. But I was like, okay, so what if it's on the container ship? How do I know? How, how can I monitor this? And you have a solution for that too. Yeah, we have a solution. We have a gateway. 
get with it is a companion product for mm -hmm. Halo. You can collect data from many Halo with the one gateway, and uh, you have different technologies to send data to cloud. Okay. For example, 5G, uh, lower one, lower one, and uh, long range one, or okay. uh, satellite communications. We have different solution for gateway. And this is a lonely, a black box. It's yeah. a cord. If you want to collect data during shipping, you need to you have to use a gateway. Right. And you you need only one gateway if you want to collect data from ten or more a log. You okay. need only one gateway. Yeah, and you don't need it. Like, you know, if, if you're just somebody who's just like super like I don't know, paranoid for lack of a better yeah. word, uh, of of during the shipping process that you want to make sure that you can monitor in real time, you have a solution for that. But like you said, it is a black box. So yeah. once it reaches destination, um, it can be scanned at that point. This um, is the point. I guess the, the person, the, the whoever receives it, they can be instructed to to scan it and you have an app on your phone and you can you can pick up that. This yeah. is the point. You uh -huh. don't need a gateway. Right. Because if you know when damage happened, you know exactly in parallel where where is the, your asset in that moment? Mm -hmm. If, for example, during the shipping, the stormy water go on your uh, container inside, mm -hmm. right, yeah. and the humidity go up, yeah. you know exactly when. You don't need to be, you don't need the information. Right. My asset in this moment is in the, in the middle of the Ocean Pacific. Right, yeah. This is not important. The most important information is when it mm -hmm. happens, when, right. yeah. because if you know when, you know who is responsible. Exactly. If you know who is responsible, you know where is your asset in this moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't need a GPS. Yeah, right. It's not a nail tag. You can put right, yeah, it's not an air tag, right? It's yeah. not an air tag. <laughs> not an air tag. <laughs> it's a black box. Right, exactly. It record. Mm -hmm. it, so, yeah, I think... Um, I think it's a cool technology just on its own, whether it's a, something that's for the wine world or not. I'll let you decide, you know, if you're an importer, distributor, if you're a winemaker uh, and you ship your wines around the world, I'll let you decide whether it is. I'll have contact information for uh, Luigi so you can, you can reach out to them. But I think it's just a cool idea, period. Um, and maybe not every industry feels they need it and maybe not every industry needs it but i think if you have a high like i said high value assets if you got a couple containers of wine that's a lot of money yeah that's a lot of money uh even if they are like inexpensive bottles on their own when you you had, you had an example like the product one product may not be very expensive but you have a, a, a container a few containers yeah. of of that product now that now there becomes a high value high asset. value yeah high value. and you can have you can have you know these uh products to uh to help um to help you find out if anything happened to them. Absolutely. I think it's, I think it's a cool concept. Luigi, um, Thank uh, you. I really appreciate you coming on and, and talking about this. Is there anything we didn't cover that you maybe want to uh, add to what we talked about? Just one. Okay. We designed and we told this product for oil and gas, aviation, uh -huh. aerospace. But after this interview, I think that the right market is wine. <laughs> right industry. Hey, you Bro. know, <laughs> so I'm, not, I'm literally the only wine person, like industry person here. So I got the invitation to the Italy America Chamber of Commerce. So thank you, Maurizio, um, for sending me the invite. Actually, it was Annalise, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, but both of them are always, always sending me emails about things, uh, usually wine related. But this was like, I was like, why do I want, I'm like, what, huh? What? <laughs> Oh, I'll be in town anyway, because I, I was in town yesterday for an event, and I'm going to be here again tomorrow for another event. Um, so I thought, well, I got nothing to do on Tuesday night. <laughs> so why not hang out with a bunch of oil and gas people and talk about shipping? And I kind of figured that there might be an angle, and there, there is an angle. So um, I, I really appreciate this. Yeah, you were at the OTC conference, the oil yeah. technology yeah, conference. Absolutely. Yeah. This yeah. product was That's launched. That's was born, wasn't it? Yeah, it was born <laughs> yeah, at born OTC. Like, like a week ago. Yeah. It is two weeks, two weeks old. Yeah. And your company is based here in Houston. In Houston. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. In Houston. All right. So um, I'll have all the content information below uh, in the description. Um, so if you want to uh, find out from Luigi if this is a product for you, whether it's for the wine industry, coffee, tea, oil and gas, or whatever industry you're in, um, give them a call. I mean, 
I'm not saying that I'm not necessarily endorsing it. I just think it's a really cool idea and maybe you should look into it, you know? Um, I read you know, it. Yeah, sure. exactly. Well, thank you thank so much you. for coming on. Thank and, you. And uh, I hope, you, hope you have lots of success, success and hope to see maybe some of these on uh, some container ships with uh, with one. Really excited. All right. Awesome. Thank well, folks, you. that's going to wrap it up for today. Um, as always, make sure you click like and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. And we will see you next time.